For this project, we are going to show you how to build a shake table, which can be used to simulate the motion caused by seismic waves during an earthquake. You can then use the shake table to test and develop your own designs for earthquake resistant structures. Hundreds of millions of people live in places around the world where earthquakes are common. A large amount of the destruction caused by earthquakes is the result of collapsing structures such as bridges, hospitals and skyscrapers. By designing structures that are able to withstand the forces of earthquakes, engineers can save lives. For testing purposes, engineers build shake tables to simulate the motion of the ground produced by earthquakes. Some shake tables are large enough to put full-size buildings on, and others are smaller for testing models or components. By doing this, engineers can test the stability of their designs to develop methods of building that provide people living in earthquake-prone areas with safe surroundings. For this challenge, you will need the following items. And a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. First, we will cut out the base and tabletop from corrugated cardboard. At one end of the base, use a ruler to draw a 20cm square with a 10cm square in the middle. Then, use a sharp pencil to make some small holes for the split pins, which are going to help hold the shake table together. Now we will make the legs for the shake table. First, use a compass to draw four circles. Then, cut them out and use a pencil to make a hole, slightly smaller than the diameter of a marble, in the centre of each one. Glue the discs on top of the cardboard tubes. To finish the legs, we will glue one on each corner of the smaller square we drew earlier. To connect the base to the table, push split pins through the holes around the larger square and secure them by folding the arms flat against the cardboard. We will join pairs of elastic bands together to make a longer band and then hook the ends onto each of the split pins. Now push split pins through the holes in the tabletop and connect the other end of each band to a pin on the adjacent side of the square. We will continue around the whole square so that all pins have two bands hooked over them. To complete the table, slide four marbles under the tabletop so they sit in the holes made in the discs on the top of each of the legs. We will build a tower for the motor by gluing a small square of cardboard to the top of a tube. Attach one side of the motor to the cardboard square using hot glue. Next, draw and cut out a circle and make a hole near the edge for the split pin. Then glue the disc to the arm of the motor. To connect the motor and the table, we will make a hole in one end of a lollipop stick. Then glue the other end of the stick to the underside of the table. The lollipop stick can be attached to the cardboard disc with a split pin. The disc and the lollipop stick form a crank mechanism that transforms the rotary motion from the motor to a linear motion that will shake the table. The motor and battery pack will provide the power for the shake table. To create a complete circuit, electricity needs to travel from the batteries to the motor without any brakes. So, we will carefully wrap the ends of the wires from the battery pack to the copper connections on the motor, making sure the metal part of the wire is in good contact with the copper. The shake table is now ready to test earthquake resistant structures. We now need to make a structure that is at least 25 centimetres tall, has a base no wider than 12 centimetres, can hold the weight of a book, and is able to withstand 30 seconds of shaking. Once our structure is ready to test, we will attach it to the tabletop using two pieces of tape and watch what happens. You can find out more about the science behind earthquake engineering, step-by-step -step instructions for the shake table, and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeke.org forward slash stem at home.